It was unsurprisingly Nash Media Entertainment again. It appeared that Isaac Sanchez was planning to cut off all their possible escapes route. Other than Ling Shaza, one other person who took their spot was the newly signed artist under Dazzling Media, Kai Yongsheng. He was the actor nominated for Best Novice at the Golden Okita Awards this year, Kyuming. Everyone in the industry was perceptive. They all knew it was unknown whether Mark Company would remain open after the Golden Orchid Awards. After Mark came down, he returned to his seat. The only thing he could do was wait for the result. His group was sitting in their seats with unusually solemn expression on their faces. Even Sam was withered like a frosted eggplant. Marcus, Herrick, I feel awful. Marcus was sitting next to Sam. He originally wasn't going to pay attention to Sam, but when he saw that Sam's complexion really didn't look too great, he asked, what's wrong? Do you feel unwell? Sam leaned against Marcus's shoulder and listlessly nodded, yes, I will, I will help you tell Brother Dan. Yes, yes, help tell Brother Dan. Tell him to wear a dress for me. I guarantee it will cure all illness. Marcus mercilessly pushed Sam away. This guy couldn't be serious for a single second. However, after this intermission from Sam, Marcus felt his anxiety easing up a little. The award ceremony hadn't commenced yet, so everyone was chatting or looking at their phones. Anne was about to tell Sam and Marcus a few things to keep in mind when her phone started vibrating. It was Jessica calling. When Han saw the caller ID, her eyes turned warmer. She glanced in the direction Jessica was sitting before picking up the call. Hello. As soon as Sam heard this hello, his ears packed up. There is something fishy. How strange. Why is brother Dan's hello so gentle? Marcus didn't want to talk to him. It was just normal hello. What was strange about it? Jessica was currently carefully turning her head to look behind her when he had... Dan's voice, her tone became excited. Han, Han, are you here yet? Why can't I see you? Han answered, I'm here. A few rows behind you, but I can't see you. Really? That's great. Jessica instantly relaxed. Yes, I'm here. Don't be nervous. Eh? Han said as a, f a few words more before hanging up. After an unintentional turn of her head, she saw that Sam's face was almost plattered to her phone. Han expression darkened. Sam looked at her expectantly. Brother Dan, who were you on the phone with? Why were you talking so gently? No one, just a friend. A friend? Weird. Was there something wrong with his sixth sense? Why did he feel like Brother Dan had a lover outside? Ladies and gentlemen, dear esteemed guest, greetings. Welcome to tonight's Golden Orchids Award. An arousing music played in the background. The host on the stage announced that the award ceremony of the o Golden Orchid Awards was officially commencing. Everyone gazed instantly showed toward the stage. After the opening remarks and the performance finished, the long-awaited grandiose occasion of the entertainment industry finally pulled up its curtains. The ceremony started with minor categories like best visual effects, best production design, and best motion design to liven up the venue. Fifteen minutes later, the first popular category was brought up, Golden Orchid Awards Best Novice Award. On stage, the award presenter personality was a bit energetic. After keeping the audience gazing for half a day, they finally announced the winner of the award. The winner of the Golden Orchids Awards Best Novice Award goes to the brightest new star of Dazzling Media this year, Kyu Ming. Congratulations. Thunderous applause accompanied the presenter announcement of the winner's name. The audience all gave their congratulations. Kyu Ming cried on the spot and asked his manager, Kilian, along with the cast and crew members near him. He was immensely emotional. In front, most seats designated for the higher hubs of the industry. Professor Cole nodded with obvious satisfaction. He was the one who piled all the resources and helped Killian build up Kyuming as at a deficit cost. After Dan left, all sorts of rumors arose. People said that Professor Cole sent his own relative to shove then away. 
leading to a decline of at dazzling media how could he allow his pride to be trampled by everyone hence even if he knew killian was good for nothing he had to elevate killian reality proved him right serving in this industry required not only talent and capability after then left world star show entertainment then returned to nothing his fate after Conning away Marcus and Sam was the best warning to the other celebrities under Stasho. As Killian watched his artist returning to his seat after accepting the trophy, he was high-spirited, innocently glanced in the direction of fan and a group. Meanwhile, the production crew acted like they wanted the whole world to be in chaos and purposefully had the cameraman turn the camera to Anne as though they wanted to capture dense loss of composure unfortunately the languid and serene expression on hans face never changed and she calmly glanced at the camera lens focused on her showing a light smile when that smile was displayed on the giant screen in the venue everyone gasped could be heard so so handsome a female artist murmured quietly That's then being a manager is truly a pity with the face like his. So in another film from uh, Nash Media Entertainment, Lucian's Legend defeated the opponents and obtained best director award. Lucian's Legend was the film Nash Media Entertainment had used to shoot for the major awards this year. It was nominated for many awards including best film, best director, the actor of the male lead Pei Heng was also nominated for best actor. A dance and song performance started on the stage after a short break. The ceremony continued. Mark Complexion looked awful by this point. The next award is the best film on the stage. The guest presenter announced the winner of the best film, Lucian's Legend. It was Lucian again. When Mark had the film name, his heart sank to the bottom of the valley. Best novice, best director, best film, best actor, best actress. These five awards were the most important award. Now, Stasho Entertainment obtained the best novice. Well, Nash Media Entertainment obtained two major awards already: best director and best film. Through that summer, Lucian's Legend, Nash Media Entertainment managed to dominate both the box office and general popularity this year. reaping a bountiful harvest all that left is best actor and best actress now mark mumbled solemnly upon seeing that the next award to be announced was best actor even some kept his indifferent expression and looked at the big screen excitement ran through the people sitting below the stage the people who were getting drowsy from the long tedious process all became wide awake and looked at the stage while whispering with their neighbors the following award were announcing is the award everyone has their eyes on best actor who will be the winner of this year best actor everyone please look at the screen the nomination for this year include lucian's legend they all started introducing the five films that were nominated this year when they host the final film a life and death struggle everyone subconsciously turned curiously to look at marcus and sam that that there's gonna be a good show to watch right some publicly announced he would live stream himself eating shit if he doesn't win best actor and even dragged marcus into it truly fearless i say look at who is it is there anything sam doesn't dare to say however the fact that sam managed to get nominated is quite astonishing the organizer also needed popularity and attention so they are just making a double best actor headline it's not like it's the first time they have done this plus red lotus just happened to be banned otherwise how could cool it be their turn to be nominated look at the other films any of them could pulverize them these two people are simply here to fill the seats the snippet of the film they showed was the tragically heroic scene of siu shao breathing his last breath in marcus arms the remnant sun was akin to blood and strikes of the tears flowed down the youth bloody and creamy face instantly as eliciting heavy aching griefs in the audience Sam motionlessly stared at the scene on the big screen, sweat soaking his palms. Sam grumbled to the complaint, "How could they use my death scene? So unlucky." Sam said that he glanced awfully at Han, brother Dan, 
and didn't even glance at him as he said, you want me to wear it? Sure, win best actor, Sam. So hardly heartless. The competition for best actor this year is very intense. There, the dark horse who fiercely trampled into the finals, and he, the male lead of the assassin. The big production that exhausted 200 million yuan jing, when talented actor who was being nominated three times in a row, Ji Wang. The talented Evenly King who won Best Actor twice already has its fully deserving of his title Pei Heng and also two male leads of a life and death struggle who were both nominated Marcus and Sam. They all spoke passionately and tried their best to intensify the atmosphere and glance at Marcus worriedly. Marcus expressed he was fine before taking a deep breath and closing his eyes. Sam saw Han exchanging a look with Marcus and pitifully mumbled, Brother Den, Brother Den, I'm also nervous, and rolled the eyes at him and originally intended to ignore him when he suddenly caught something in a periphery that startled her. Sam had always stood and sat formlessly wherever he went, was currently stiffly sitting in his seat, and extended a arm and lightly clapped Sam's shoulder. Han accidentally touched Sam's neck and surprisingly realized that it was soaking with sweat. This guy, he really is nervous. Sam felt a gentle hand covering his shoulder and patting it extremely gently. He felt like he was a little puppy without a leash whose owner finally leashed him and led him home. I feel really safe. When Dan's soft fingers flitted across his soaked neck, he also felt his heart fiercely skipping a few beats for some reason and he even forgot his nervousness. Before the winner of the best actor was announced, the camera jumped between the nominees and also gave a few shots to the cast and crew and the higher hubs of the actor's company. The camera landed Pei Heng and broke the most as though it was eating at something. All right, enough talking. Well, now we invite our guest presenter, Director Sun, to reveal the winner of tonight. Best Actor Award. Welcome, Director Sun. It was finally time to announce the winner. The guest presenter, Sun, accepted the envelope from the host and said, Good evening. I'm very honored to have been invited here to have been invited here to present this award. In the audience, everyone's heart jumped on their throats. On the screen, although the nominees looked like they were trying their best to stay calm, the expression clearly revealed their nervousness. I think it is Ji Wayne. Nashmedia Ji Wayne is absolutely a talented actor. He has already been nominated three times, so it must be his turn this time, right? That dark horse and he momentum is also quite fierce. Ah, enough guessing. There is no suspense about it. It must be Pei Heng. He was already half retired at first. Nashmidi Entertainment spent hundreds of millions to pull Pei Heng out of retirement just for this award. They are determined to win. Pei Heng does have the biggest chances. Luo Shen's legend already won Best Director and Best Film. These two awards are the Markers of the best actor and best actresses after all. Peng was nearly a in for winning best actor at this point. Below the stage, the producer sitting next to Brock confidently said, Miss Brock, don't worry, Luo Shen Legend won both best director and best film, so it's a sure bet that it will get best actor. I've already prepared the celebration banquet. Under everyone's admiring and reverent gazes, Brooke maintained her serene expression and mentally nodded. Thank you for your hard work, producer Sue. On the stage, Sun and the host echoed each other and kept the audience gazing for half a day before finally opening the envelope. The chattering and the whispering in the audience completely disappeared. You could hear a pin drop. Everyone's eyes were locked onto Sun. Sun began for this year's Golden Orchids Awards. Han maintained her composure while Mark's fists were tightly clenched and his eyes were unblinking. Marcus took a deep breath and closed his eyes. Sun continued. Best actor goes to Luo. The sun, when Sun uttered Luo, everyone's eyes turned to Look at Pei Heng with a surprised expression. Now it was Luo Shen legend as expected. Brock exp expression also relaxed while producer Sue prepared to embrace Pei Heng with a wide grin. 
However, at that moment, sun voice exploded in everyone. Marcus! When everyone heard this name, the venue went up normally silent for a second. What? What did sun just say? It wasn't Lucien legend. How did it turn to Marcus? Producer Sue expression froze on his face and his extended arms awkwardly hung in mid-hair. Brock nearly jumped up. The venue was in an uproar. What's going on? Did we miss here? It wasn't only the audience. Marcus himself was foolishly sitting there, unable to process that he just ha what he just had. Meanwhile, Killian and Professor Cole both had a deep frown as they both looked at the stage. They didn't believe Dan managed to make a comeback. As though the female host realized the easy misunderstanding that this name could cause, she kindly repeated, This winner of this year Golden Orchid Award for the Best Actor is the actor who played Shen Chiu in A Life and Death Struggle, Marcus. Congratulations, Marcus. The female host words were akin to a drop of cold water splattering into a pot of oil. Mark emotionally shot up and pulled Marcus over to embrace him tightly. Stop spacing out. It's you. You are the winner. The calm person in the venue was probably Anne. Anne stood up and opened her arms as she looked at the stupefied Marcus. Marcus, congratulations. Marcus dazedly stared at Anne, his finger lightly trembling and his eyes reddening. He excitedly embraced her. Brother Dan, I succeeded. I succeeded. I didn't disappoint you. The large rock that dangled above his head finally settled. Marcus felt like he had received a new life. Sam was also dumbfounded for a long time before he finally re reacted. His heart felt twitchy and he stared at Marcus like he was staring at his wife's lover. Damn, I guarded myself against everyone, but it turns out an internal thief stole it. You punk. It was clearly a complaint, but his voice was brimming with joy. Marcus looked at Sam and his fleeting through his eyes. They were both nominated. They both worked hard and Sam truly didn't expend any less effort than Marcus this time, but only Marcus won the award. Perhaps other people weren't aware and only saw Sam careless side, but Marcus witnessed first hand how hard Sam worked during the special training. Sam even made him hide it from Brother Dan. Everyone present was surprised and had their own opinions about the surprise win, while Kaylian gritted his teeth angrily, while Jessica was secretly clapping for them with immense joy. After Brock, Pei, Hang, Producer Sue, and the rest of the group, they nearly couldn't maintain their composure as they watched this unexpected outcome. Only Pei Heng managed to maintain a congratulatory expression due to his years of experience. Done it. How is this possible? Marcus, how could it be that green bank? Brooke and the group weren't the only ones who reacted this way. No one else expected this year's best actor would go to the most unfavored nominee. Brooke's mind swiftly spun and she made herself calm down. They merely won a best actor. Nash Media's strength is it could keep suppressing them without a problem. Just a bit more effort was needed. They all said, please welcome Marcus to come up and accept his award. At this time, the guest presenter on the stage, Sand, suddenly interrupted the host. My apologies for the interruption. I didn't finish speaking. The winner for the best actor, there's one more. What? There's one more? Everyone had yet to recover from the earlier shock and was stunned again by this sentence. Sand continued with a faint smile. That's right. The other winner is Sam Gong. If Sun had splattered water into a pot of oil when he said the name Marcus, then he essentially shocked a pool of water with lightning just now. Shit, what's this outcome? It's, it's actually a double best actor. Sam had just stood up to embrace Marcus when he abruptly heard his name. He was stunned on the spot. Three seconds later, he blinked with a perplexed expression. Hmm, brother Dan, I think, I think I've gone crazy from wishing to see you in a dress. I'm even having delusions. Idiot. 
Marcus finally couldn't hold back his tears anymore. Tears poured down his face as he hugged Sam tightly. It's not delusion. It's real. Two, two male leads? This means double best actor? This was the first time double best actor occurred in the history of the Golden Orchids Award. It was unpresented. This made everyone boil with emotion. No one anticipated the Golden Orchid Award for the Best Actor this year would have such an expected turn of events. Moreover, Marcus and Sam both won Best Actor, creating double Best Actor for the first time in the Golden Orchids Award history. Brooke originally thought she could handle just Marcus and could even use this point to knock down Sam first. However, she never would have imagined it would be double best actor it was actually double best actor panic appeared for the first time in brooks eyes and Shoza stared at sam like he had seen a ghost sam who he had always contemptuously looked down upon and thought had ridiculously horrible acting skills actually one best actor producer see face was also ashen and disturbed he lowered his voice and asked brooke who is who the hell is this den? What, what is background? This is unpresented in the history of Golden Orchid Awards. Miss Brock, I'm, I'm afraid we can't suppress these two people. A single best actor was problematic enough already, but now it was two best actors. Their impact won't be doubled. It will grow explosively and exponentially. It could already be foreseen that Marcus and Sam's names would explode after the Golden Orchids Award. This was true for Sam's especially. His popularity and rallying power were already very terrifying to begin with. Now that his only dark blotch was erased, his comeback persona could easily provoke an explosive effect. In this kind of situation, even if two big companies like Stasio Entertainment and Nash Media Entertainment teamed up, they won't be able to suppress the event. This was the first occurrence of the double best actor in the history of Golden Orchids Award. The outside world paid close attention to them and the committee of the judges also supported and had high hopes for them. If Stasio Entertainment and Nash Media Entertainment wanted to forcibly suppress them, it would definitely cause negative criticism, not to mention whether they could even suppress them in the first place. Brooke naturally knew this. She originally thought nothing could go wrong, so she hadn't expected this result. When she looked at Mark, her expression was extremely dark. However, there was still someone who looked more awful than Brooke, Killian, Pro Professor Cole. When you thought about it, he spent so much money and piled so many resources, but all that he did was help Killian make Kuming popular and win Best Novice. Professor Cole originally wanted to prove that his judgment and decision were both correct. In the end, then turned around and managed to make Marcus and Sam win Best Actor at the same time. Even Sam, whose acting skills were officially deemed trashy by the entertainment industry, managed to win a Best Actor with his help. This turn around, it stabbed his heart. Professor Cole originally still insisted his decision was correct due to his pride and thought it was Dan's who was in the wrong. But he now drowned in regret. If Dan didn't live back then, this could all be his. It could have belonged to Stasio Entertainment. They could have anchored Nash Media to death and even shaken Nash Media's position as leader as they could have held their head high. But now, everything was useless. Professor Cole felt his face twitch. He wanted to strangle that trash Killian. Brother Sanchez, I actually won best actor. Quick, pinch me. No need to trouble him. I will do it for you. Mark teased mouthfully. This was the first time Mark considered this guy pleasing to the eyes. During this period of time, the age of immortals ran into snags everywhere it went. They were even kicked out of a show right before the award ceremony started. He had already prepared himself for death. He never expected a light at the end of the tunnel. The host voice reverberated from the speakers in the ceremony venue. 
Marcus attracted everyone's attention and gained tremendous popularity with his debut in the film Terrifying Dragon. After three years of silence, he returned to the public eye through Terrifying Dragon 2, demonstrating his Dragon 2, demonstrating his excellent acting skills once again. Then, a life and death struggle, he portrayed special forces soldiers she knew and fully illustrated magnificence of a Chinese soldier with a superb acting skills. A life and death struggle, Sam perfectly portrayed Xu Yang, a vivid and substantial character who both a hero and villain. His acting skills improved leaps and bounds, demonstrating the audience that at the host finished her recitation, she excitedly said, this is too exciting. I didn't expect there to be two winners for tonight's best actor. Now I'll invite our two winners to come up onto the stage. Mark quickly urged Marcus and Sam to go hurry and go up. Ah, wait, wait, brother Dan, you haven't hugged me yet. Sam opened his arms and demandingly. Han had no choice but to walk over and hug a certain large canine. Only then was Sam happy. He hugged Han as, as hard as he could. Ever since Sam met this person, his life had changed. Initially, he did it for little candid plum. However, before he knew it, this person began to grow in importance to him. Though he was managed, scolded, and even beaten every day, he was very happily abused every single day. This person, hmm, why brothers then body so soft? Also, he smells really good. Honestly, he honestly smells like a girl. Stop acting cute, go already unhatched. Oh, Sam inexplicably felt his face boiling and his heart about to leap out of his chest. Subconsciously clutched his chest. Damn, it's just a hug. Why the heck are you pounding so widely? Why are you pretending to be pure? Sam dazedly stared at Han for a few seconds with a blush on his face before dizzily following Marcus on the stage. On the stage, one of them was calm and reserved, while the other was free and unruly. As they walked shoulder to shoulder to stand underneath, Underneath the glowing lights, they were brilliant and eye-catching as though no darkness could stifle their radiance. Countless viewers simultaneously watched the ceremony live stream on their TV and witnessed this scene, witnessing the rising of the two. The audience, the vice president of Nash Media Entertainment, so broke her full complexion and gently coughed Miss Brooke. Mark was just lucky this time. You don't need to worry yet. There's still a very important award. We already won Best Screenplay, Best Director, and Best Film. If we win Best Actress as well, we will still be the biggest winner this year. Broke closer eyes and tried the hardest to suppress the rolling emotion inside. We absolutely can't allow anything else to go wrong. The male and female lead in Luoshen's Legends were both nominated for the Best Actor and Best Actress. Since we didn't win Best Actor, that means our probability of winning Best Actress is very high since the organizer typically won't allow the same film to dominate too many major categories. It must be because of this that we didn't get Best Actor. I have already made this prediction with you before. Tanwei walked through his analysis with confidence. Tanwei was both comforted, broke, and gave Pei Heng a way out of this embarrassing situation. Pei Heng also said, based on my experience, Vice President Tan is very correct. A lot of organizers for major awards act like that. Broke complexion improved slightly. She took a deep breath and resumed looking towards the stage. However, expression didn't relax in the slightest because the other competitors this year were also very strong. Marcus and Sam were carrying their awards back to their seats and they were about to reveal Best Actress on the stage. The winner of the most highly anticipated award tonight, Best Actress about award was about to be announced. Host enthusiastically said, the most exciting moment is finally here. Everyone knows that the competition for this year's Best Actress Award is the most intense in the recent years. Who will obtain the crown for the Best Actress? Let's wait and see. Please look at the screen. The introduction of the five nominated films started playing on the big screen. The sigh of wind and cry of cranes, its female lead played by Ying Xiao. Password, it's female played by Kiao Chu. Chu. Never more no, it's female played by Han King Lin. Luoshen Legends, it's female played by Lei Weiwei. And Jasmine, it's female lead played by Jessica. 
and focused on the films on the big screen. The competition for this year best actress was more intense than that of the best actor. So it really wasn't that easy to predict. Some talk turned some rather ten, rather ten, and continued to stare at the big screen quiet. Some suspiciously mumbled, they are announcing best actress next. It has nothing to do with our company. Why are you paying much attention to it? And didn't answer. She saw Jessica cautiously turning around to glance at her from the front. She could tell Jessica was beyond nervous based on her expression and quickly sent her a comforting look. Only then did Jessica look a little better and turned back around. Some felt like Anne was casting amorous glances at someone, but when he followed her gaze, he couldn't find the other person. Maybe I'm really overthinking things. Damn, 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 Sam, calm down, you're straight. What's wrong with you? Why are you suddenly paying so much attention to a man? Next, we will invite the winner of the last year's Golden Orchid Award for the Best Actress, Kia Okesin, to help us present tonight's Best Actress Award, the host announced. Fervent applause rang below the stage. Hey, the guest presenter is Sister Kezing. Sam muttered that he wondered if that was why Brother Den was paying extra attention to this award. Brother Den and Gelsing seemed to have quite an amicable relationship privately. There wasn't anything romantic between them, right?